Hello viewers, it's a hot sunny day, I have to admit, and today I will uh, describe a little bit more uh, the actual turbine. Now it's almost a year that passed uh, after I installed it, the complete setup here, and, it's worked, and it works perfectly fine. And for I will describe uh, more in detail the parts of the turbine which have to be uh, maintained and which have to, uh, and how it's everything assembled together to see more in detail here as you can see i will i can turn around i will turn around the camera i live on the hill and this is uh, important if you want to get as much wind as possible uh, let me turn the camera so if you see i i live on the hills yeah it's very hot sunny day like 32 degrees and here is my turbine yeah it works really well but now it's there is no wind and let's let, let's start from this mold yeah so this is something which we need for for the project so so this over here this is the mold for fixing the windings so that they're correctly 120 degrees be, between each each third yeah and um, why do we need to prepare su such construction yeah uh, such con Construction is important so that uh, because uh, the big deal is geometry. Yeah, you have to respect the geometry of the three-phase system, and uh, so that you can fix the windings properly, we have to prepare such mold. You know, so our windings will fit exactly around this mold. This this these small hammers are the same as uh, in the project. I will put the windings around each of these and then we'll and then what we do then then we interconnect the coils yeah with the wires each 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 third yeah each second there are nine of them each second we will uh, we will connect mutually and then when it's finished this uh, this should be a solid construction and they should not move but if you have thin wire so if you have the coils with thin wire, let's say one square millimeter, then it's important that you, after you put all these coils on this mold, uh, you have to uh, mutually connect them with the rope, yeah, with some ropes uh, that this setup does not fall apart after we put it into the mold for the pouring of the epoxy resin, yeah, to make it a hard stator. Yeah. So if you have a thin wire, you have to, when you have the coils around it, yeah, on these small molds, uh, you have to interconnect them uh, with the ropes. Yeah. So that's how construction will still stay solid before putting it to the mold for pouring the uh, the mold. Yeah. So and then what we get then? This is the the. What we get after we will, after we uh, make this. This is the structure of the epoxy resin, and inside are coils. Yeah, nine, totally. I think nine or twelve coils. Oh, let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine coils. Sorry, totally nine coils, and it's very solid. You can see, it is. It is very solid, like a stone. Yeah. And uh, about about these connectors, you actually don't need even the, the, these ones. You can just stay. It can stay inside of the the mold, inside of the epoxy resin. And you just need the one cable. You even don't need these connectors over here. You just you, you just can connect inside of the mold and leave the cable outside with three wires. And this is all what you need. This is all what you need to have a have a finished stator and how does it look like over here so if you can see so this is the, this is the same structure but we have also the the magnets here yeah uh, the magnets are over here and this is the plates uh, rotor plates uh, this is the, these are the connectors if I go over here you will see that on, on this the cable is going only out there is no uh, there is no connectors like I show you on the floor 
a little bit earlier yeah so everything can go through the cable just can able it, the cable is connected to a connector and then you extend it to your to your other set and this is the complete structure if you can see it yeah it looks it looks fine after a year period of time it looks really fine i have to admit yeah? and also about the the column or the support for the you you can build such similar construction because it it is usable and it's not not high like two meters maybe from the floor even less and this is it i wanted to describe you so so this structure over here this is the mold for the fixing of the coils and what you get when you put this coil in the epoxy resin to get a solid structure of the stator this is all so what can i say the the generator works really fine after a year year has passed and i hope it in the future it will last for several years without necessary investments or replacement of the wings or something wings are really solid didn't happen nothing in a year and the winds are pretty much strong on these hills you can see it's, it's a hill and on the other side it's a forest it's a hill and it it works really fine again uh, thank you for watching if any questions if or if you have a special request about some part of the turbine especially the people who wants to buy the project to know exactly what to fit and how to fit it please uh, respond into in a replay leave a comment and i will try to respond it when i get the time free thank you very much bye bye